Hello guys, this is Doron's Movies and today I'll be talking about the Burning Legion and how powerful they really are, covering their creation, history and capabilities. So without further ado, let's get into the lore. The Great Dark Beyond, also known as the Physical Universe, was created eons ago in a cataclysmic explosion. Additionally, parallel to it, the Twisting Nether was formed as a realm of its own. On the boundaries of this astral dimension, the forces of light and void bled together, generating never-ending chaos. Just as in the physical universe, life had also risen in the Twisting Nether, very much affected by this volatile energy. These beings would become known as demons and they indulged heavily in this unstable magic known as Fel. It was not long until they began to effectively wield this power and become a threat to other worlds. Even though the same race, demons come in many shapes and sizes, there are simple demons like the Felhounds and then greater ones such as the Natrazim and the Pitlords. Some of them grew quite a lot in power and even enslaved their own kin, while others created servants from Fel energy known as the Infernals. These creatures, unsurprisingly, became a great threat to other mortal civilizations as they started pouring into the physical universe, terrorizing countless worlds. The titans eventually learned of this and fearing that these incursions would disturb their own quest, they dispatched their champion Sergeras to deal with the threat. Sergeras saved a myriad of worlds and as the demons were very unorganized, he was able to put the problem under control. However, the solution was not so simple as Sargeras realized that he was fighting enemies he had already defeated which meant that all of his efforts were futile. By studying the Twisting Nether, he realized that the demons can constantly reform and he decided that the strategy needed to be changed. Sargeras created a pocket dimension known as Mardoom and every time he defeated them, instead of reforming, they would be contained inside this prison. Soon the entire prison was overflowed with demons, which meant that the method was effective as the cosmos finally knew peace. The mission was a great success, but soon everything would change. Sargeras learned about the Void Lords and realizing that he cannot deal with this threat, he fell into despair. Eventually, the Titan had lost control and was set on a mission to purge the universe with fire. In the mind of Sargeras, a lifeless universe would be better than one dominated by the Void, which is why he wanted to wipe everything, hoping life would spark again without this inherent flaw. To accomplish his goal, he did the unthinkable, shattering the prison world of Mardoom. This not only freed countless demons he had previously captured, but also ruptured the boundary between the Great Dark Beyond and the Twisting Nether. On top of this, Sargeras was warped by so much fell energy from the explosion that his very soul was affected. Now, a once noble titan was a volcano of fell energy bent on purifying the universe in the Burning Crusade. His army, known as the Legion, was a threat no one could put an end to. Not only was it filled by practically immortal demons, but they were also imbued by Sargeras himself, growing in power like they never did before. The Titans were completely stunned and they banded together to stop their fallen brother, but overwhelmed by Sargeras' fell magic, they were all defeated. Now, without anyone in their way, the Burning Legion was determined to crush the Warlords by destroying worlds before they could be corrupted. As you would expect, this resulted in a catastrophe for the denizens of the Great Dark Beyond as they now had two superpowers pretty much competing to destroy their home. Unfortunately, they were very successful and almost the entire universe is left in ruins. It is currently unclear if Azeroth is the last remaining planet, but even if it's not, there are only a few worlds left standing. 
Before the Titans died, Sargeras learned about Azeroth and became very interested as the world soul inside it was said to be so powerful to even be able to face the Void Lords. He realized that he would need to find this planet first because if the Void conquered it, he would have a serious threat on his hands, a Dark Titan possibly surpassing Sargeras in power. Eventually, the location was discovered and Azeroth was invaded two times by massive legion invasions, but both attempts were repelled. This time though, as the rest of the universe is finally dealt with, the burning legion has returned in its full glory to finish the job and finally conquer the rebellious planet. So with all of this big talk, the question arises, what are the actual capabilities of this ruthless horde? Well, from what we have seen, it is the biggest threat to the universe after the Void Lords, if not even bigger. To put it on a scale, the Titans wielded power that a mortal couldn't even imagine, yet Sargeras by himself wiped out all of them. Apart from just their leader, the thing that makes them unstoppable is how complete they actually are. As opposed to those old unruly demons, this army is extremely well organized. You have commanders, spies, various constructs and machines, and on top of all of that, countless foot soldiers. Aside from the main races such as the Eredar, Natrezim, Pit Lords, there are also heaps of other lesser creatures. Some are original empowered demons and others are mutated races from the various worlds the Legion previously conquered. Additionally, the Legion is also remarkably good at manipulating, being able to turn denizens of a planet against each other as we have seen on Azeroth. Pretty much, they have a demon species that specializes in every branch they would need for every possible occasion. They have the Pit Lords commanding brute force, Moark creating machines, Natrezim turning enemies on themselves, and if none of this works by itself, they have overwhelming numbers that would eventually exhaust any opponent. To make matters even worse, they can only be killed inside the Twisting Nether, so not only do they have a gigantic army, but they're practically immortal. As the Legion is now doing an all-out concentrated invasion on Azeroth, we are seeing just how powerful they are and just how powerful their technology is, featuring many different mechanized war machines, constructs, spaceships, all powered up by fell magic. At the moment, their entire specific divisions are turning their efforts towards our world, bent on completely annihilating it. In conclusion, how powerful are they? Extremely powerful. Do we stand a chance against their forces? No, not really, because even if we do somehow manage to repel their main assault, they will still come back again and again and again. However, the situation isn't completely grim, as recently Illidan and his demon hunters had a breakthrough, invading the Legion itself and causing a lot of damage. As far as we know, this is the only time mortals have actually managed to harm this colossal army. Unfortunately, his ultimate plan temporarily failed, but there is still a lot of potential, especially as the Naru manifestations of light itself are supporting the cause. Still, even if we do manage to defeat the Legion and Azeroth, we will nonetheless have to invade them in the Twisted Nether because they will just return once again. However, luckily, the Demon Hunters did succeed in one thing, retrieving the Sargerite Keystone, which is a device that gives access to the various Legion worlds. This device alone is the key to our success in the future, because without it, it is almost impossible to actually travel to the Twisting Nether and find the exact location of their bases. Currently, the odds are against us and the Burning Legion has a significant advantage, but with the help of all of the positive forces in the universe, Universe, we might be able to bring the fight to Sargeras himself. This final battle will be all or nothing and we will have to either defeat the Legion or perish.
all right and that is all i have for this video do leave your thoughts and speculations on what you think will be the end scenario for the burning legion and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and also like the video as it really helps out and keeps the channel going thanks a lot for taking the time out of the day to watch this video and see you next time